Now what? Starts now. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Hello and welcome again to Now, now what? what? We're delighted that you're with us today. Whether you are sitting there <laughs> drinking your coffee or your tea, you are in the right place as we continue to try to help you maximize your now and then successfully move to your next. Really, because we understand that everyone has those moments in life where you get stuck, right? We say it every week. You have the facts, you have the information, uh, you had these experiences, but you just try to figure out what do I do next? Where do I go? How do I make sense of this? What is my purpose? And today, we really are excited about today because while we've been meeting episode after episode, uh, this is the episode where we remind you that you really only move from that place where you're stuck or still or paralyzed if you know how to faith, faith forward. forward. And faithing forward is simply a reminder that out of everything we try to do, we cannot do it without our faith in Christ. Think about, for example, those old school Walkmans or stereo systems. Did you say Walkman? Right. <laughs> old school, old school. Where there was the fast forward feature. Oh, that's right. Well, today we want you to understand <laughs> that no matter who you are, Today, we want you to understand that no matter who you are, how much money you have, what your educational background may be, right. it is imperative that you allow faith to help you move forward. Absolutely. Faith is not something that talks about what has been. Faith does not ask you what your past was. Faith does not say, hey, what does your resume look like? Faith asks what's possible. Faith says, listen. I'm not necessarily sure what you have experienced, but here's what can be realized. And today, as we really kind of walk you through this path of uncertainty, we want you to know that there is something about faith, the unseen, the unknown, that has benefits. Mm -hmm. uh, there's something about faith that allows us to believe beyond where we are. And once you really tap into faith, you'll see great things accomplished. Yes. So sure, we're running the risk of maybe sounding too preachy today, yeah, right. but we know that it's worth it because with man, there are things that are impossible, right. but with God, all things are possible. So get ready. We have our Hey Ladies coming up. We have our coaching tip. We have a powerful interview uh, that is coming today. And most importantly, uh, we've been looking at and listening to all of the questions you brought in. So make sure you visit nowwhatlive.com. If you haven't heard your questions answered here, they're definitely answered on our website, along with plenty of resources so that you aren't just hearing Faith Forward, but you'll actually know how to Faith Forward. We'll be right back with more on how to Faith Forward. For exclusive content from today's episode, visit nowwhatlive.com. View the extended interview from today's guest, download free resources, books, and courses to help you move from now to next. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more behind the scenes content and stay connected with us on Facebook and Instagram at Now What Backstage. And if you'd like to partner with us, you'll find ways to advertise, sponsor a show segment or season or donate on NowWhatLive.com. Welcome back as we are endeavoring today to help you faith forward. You know, the world has a little phrase or cliche that says, fake it till you make it. But we want to let you know today that you do not have to faith, fake it till you make it, right. but you can faith it till you make it. You can faith it forward. Yeah, and, and really the concept of faith it till you make it suggests that wherever you are right now, you won't be there always. Yes. And that's true whether you're in a tough, difficult, don't want to be placed, or if you have achieved and you have arrived to some area of life that you think was your pinnacle. Wherever you are, it's not over. Right. right? If you're still in the land of the living, God has more, there's mm -hmm. something next. And we want to make sure that you don't lose faith because you have some things or lose faith because you hit something low. Right. But you hold on to faith so that you can maximize your now right. and move to the next. Yes. So for all the planners out there, know that you cannot plan <laughs> everything. You are not going to have the answer to everything, no matter how brilliant you are. And so faith is going to be the key that unlocks some of those doors that have been closed. That's so we're excited that you're here today. That's right. We have some interviews coming up and we're excited to help you faith forward. Good morning, everyone. And thank you so much for joining us once again for today's episode of Now, now What. what? I know. We are delighted to have you with us this morning. And as promised, uh, we are excited about continuing to bring to you amazing couples 
who have unique niches and are allowing their voices to be heard yeah. and really making impact on our community, both locally and abroad. And we have a phenomenal couple with us <laughs> yes, today. Yes, we do. And we are excited uh, to introduce the song, present to others. Drum roll, please. Yes. Uh, to uh, Mr. Leslie and Tammy Frazier. Uh, they are doing phenomenal things, uh, one together, uh, but then for their family and for our community, uh, they have been very impactful, particularly with World Financial Group. A matter of fact, uh, just about a month ago, uh, Ms. Sammy Frazier was blessed with the opportunity to be one of the speakers at the national conference, I think virtually and on site. It was about 60,000 people in attendance. So awesome. Very awesome. And uh, today we have them right here on Now What? Uh, to really just kind of unpack, you know, how they arrived where they are, how they bounce back from challenges, and most importantly, help all of us move beyond our personal place uh, of, of being stuck, right? If you've ever been in that situation scenario where you had ideas, but you just couldn't get it started and you're now asking the question, now what? Well, we want to make sure that uh, we get some tips from uh, Leslie and Tammy. Good morning. Good morning to you both. You're welcome. Great morning. Thank you guys so much for having us. We are honored to be a part of Now What? And so we're very blessed and forever grateful to the Lord that we have the opportunity to spend with you guys this morning. And thank you for having us, guys. It's a wonderful and blessed opportunity. We truly humbly appreciate you guys. So let's talk about it a little bit, right? What is what is um what is life like? What are some of maybe for you guys uh, the downfalls uh, that you see when it comes to people trying to get back on track? And let's maybe go ahead and start off with finances. Wow. Well, I will tell you guys, that is a great question. And it hits near and dear to, to Les and I, because if we could be very transparent, our early years of, of becoming a couple, we were not taught about money when we were younger. Right. I came from a two-parent home. My husband came from a single-parent home. Regardless of what side of the fence we were on, we both lacked financial education. Mm, so when okay. we became one, we became one with our own thought process of money. Which sure. One of us was a spender and one of us was a saver. And we <laughs> agree to disagree. And we had to want it, you guys. So one downfall I would say is a lot of times there's a lack of belief. Mm, okay. You have to know what's in it for you guys, but you have to have the belief, which ties in with the faith, to know that it can even happen. What I would like to say, the downfall that I've seen is that we use two WFG curse words. One is can't and the other one is trying. From my <laughs> perspective, you rather fail forward than to ever try. Because mm -hmm. what power is in can't or trying? There's no real power. Right. We're taught in America that if you fail, you're a loser. You're not a loser until you quit. Right. Failing is where you get your experience. It grows your self-belief, if that makes sense. No, that's good. That's really good. That's good. I love the I love the idea of uh can't obviously and the trying part. Because yeah, I think what is it? You miss one hundred percent of the shots you don't take. <laughs> right. Yeah, and so just the idea of trying, making some effort is probably the biggest step to getting from Un, from stuck to unstuck, right? Right. And thank you for mentioning too that when you all were married, that it was kind of like, okay, how are we going to do this? What are we going to agree upon yeah. that's going to work for our household? So for those who are joining us this morning, and maybe they are in that place now where they are early in their journey, they have just realized they don't have a financial plan at all. What are some kind of basic first level steps you would give to them after they acknowledge they need the assistance? Once you acknowledge, you have to act. Yes. ACP. We agree. Yeah. <laughs> which, which means you have to put forth the effort. And sometimes that's the hardest part, you guys. I always say procrastination is the greatest nation. What do you tell someone who just can't get it right, hadn't been able to bounce back? That's good. It depends what type of room that they're in. Because if they are in the presence and in the room of doubters, they're going to continue to doubt. That's so true. But when they're in the room of champions, they're going to believe that they have what it takes because they see examples. That's right? good. So I always say you are your association. My husband and I, we are where we are today because of a couple 
that saw something in us. They met us where we were. We had stumbled over and over, baby, over oh and God. over again. <laughs> money thing, right? We were like, what are we doing? What we were doing was everything wrong. Absolutely. Wow. We had to be in the presence of people that were actually doing it right and be okay to say we're not there yet. But if we trust the process, because we're in the company of people that made it happen, yeah. we will eventually as a couple get there. So how do they kind of navigate or get into those spaces where they can find those people who can help push them and encourage them and mentor them into their next? Wow. Well, that's a very good question. Um, what I'll say is if you're watching today, then your steps are being ordered today. That's true. We're on this podcast today for a reason. Right? That's good. That's good. First, first of all, let me say again, thank you guys so much yes, for coming on and being with us. So awesome. Yes, uh, and I'm sure I'm those sure. who are watching, appreciate you those, guys. those who watch the broadcast, I'm sure have gained many nuggets. Uh, we're gonna have to make a quick transition as we get ready uh, for the next segment of Now What. However, I want to remind you all that we are on nowwhatlive.com. You can catch the second portion of this same interview with uh, Mr. Les and Tammy Frazier. I'm excited to share this resource with you. My most recent book titled Getting It Done Without Becoming Undone. Listen, I know there are so many things on your to-do list daily, weekly, monthly. This is a resource to help you figure out how to be productive, but also maintain your peace. You can have joy on the journey. Get your copy or get a copy for you and some friends of Getting It Done Without Becoming Undone. Thanks for joining me again for another Sister Girl Chat, where we take a few moments to keep it real to help you move into your next. We're continuing today on this idea of faith forward. Not rewind, not pause, but faith forward. Remember, there's greatness in you and there's also greatness still ahead of you. Here's what I've come to realize, that many of you who found yourself stuck or stagnant did not do so intentionally. Life happens. Perhaps there was a particular situation that happened that took you off guard, that took you by surprise, that you could not calculate or plan for, and you just woke up and realized there were still some dreams and aspirations that have not yet been realized. That's the place I want to bring you back to today because I want you to pick up from there and then faith forward. I get it. Life happens, situations happen, but you cannot allow them to make you become complacent or to get too comfortable where you become stuck. When we look around the world today, it's no secret. There are a lot of things that are out of whack and off kilter. I get it. The political arena, a turbulent economy. There's so much that continues to fluctuate. But that's why I implore you not to put your faith and your trust in your situation, in your circumstances, but in a God who cannot and will not fail you. Listen, the world may feel crazy and crooked. There's a scripture that also makes me feel a little bit more comfortable with that concept, though. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 4 talks about how we serve a God who's able to make those crooked places straight to bring down those high mountains, right? And to raise those valleys that we find ourselves in. That's how you're going to faith forward. Because the things that were crooked and out of whack, God is able to somehow, in God's infinite wisdom and power, to take those things that were out of whack and somehow bring them into alignment that you might faith forward. Now, let's be honest. God is going to do God's part but you and I have a part to do as well, ladies. God's going to do the impossible, but there's some things that you can do as well that God will give you the ability to do. Speaking the positive in your life, not allowing the naysayers to be the dominant voice, getting up after disappointment and letdown. Those are the things that are going to help you faith forward. Never forget, the same God that got you there or got you here to this place you find yourself in now is the same God that's going to help get you to your next. 
Do not get a God-sized vision and then think you can figure out the rest on your own. You know how we sometimes inadvertently do when we say, okay, God, thanks for the dream, thanks for the vision, I'll take it from here. That will certainly lead you not in a path of success. It's important that you stay in consistent and constant contact with the God who gave you the dream, with the God that gave you the vision. Here's what some of us do. We receive the dream or the next step or the vision from God, and then we act as though, hey, I got it from here. Listen, that is a sure formula for failure. The same God that gave you the dream is the same God who's going to help you know which way to move and to operate, which door to go through or not to go through, right? But we must stay in constant communication with the God who opens doors and gives those dreams. Not only that, ladies, but I also want you to understand that everything that may have taken you by surprise has not taken God by surprise. Again, you all know by this episode, I like to plan, but I've come to a place in maturity and my faith walk that I don't have a plan for everything and that I have to stay pliable and flexible for the movement and the direction of God. It may have taken you off guard or by surprise, but it certainly did not take God off guard or by surprise. So you can rest in that. Finally, as I prepare to close this segment, I want to encourage you with this. Stop thinking it's too big. Stop thinking it's beyond you. It is beyond you, but with God, all things are possible. And I think sometimes we get to a place in our lives where we think, nobody in my family has done that. No one who looks like me has done that. If I tell people that dream, they're going to look at me like I'm crazy that she has officially lost it this time. But let me encourage you with this. Those things that were unattainable before, those things that seemed far-fetched, God can bring right to your fingertips. I love it. Fingertips. It's there for you to operate and walk in. You can do it, but you have to face forward. I hope these moments have been helpful. We'll see you again next week. Greetings, ladies. It is my honor to personally invite you to the Ladies in Leadership Retreat, which is going to be held March 22nd through the 25th, 2023 in beautiful Nassau, Bahamas. Whether you are a woman who's leading in the workforce, in ministry, in a community, in your home, please make plans to join us for this unforgettable time of reflection, being refilled, brainstorming with other powerful women that you might successfully launch into your next. So mark your calendars now, March the 22nd through the 25th, 2023. For more details and to secure your slot, please visit drjanelle.com. I'll meet you in Nassau. It's time for a timeout. Remember, this is a segment where we take a pause and create a play to help us move forward. Because it's coaching, let me ask you a question. Have you ever had facts that you really wrestled with because you believe God for something different? Well, that's where we are today. And I would love for you to consider prioritizing your faith over facts. Again, just consider for a moment, even after you re read all of the stats, you've seen all of the science, you have all of the analytics, consider prioritizing faith over facts. Now, let's be clear. When you do get facts, facts are real. Facts can oftentimes be measured. But what facts are not is they are not always final. And so because they are not final, I want you to understand that you can actually faith your way forward. Here's a simple thing we ask you to do. Make sure in every scenario, in every decision you make, that you decide to include the faith factor. It's like solving for X. It's making sure that no matter what happens, 
you always include faith. I mean, make sure you know the personnel. Count up all of the dollar and cents. Know the location. Know exactly how it's supposed to happen, how you're going to execute. But then factor in faith. Here's what faith does. Faith allows you to remember that there's always something unseen that you have not yet been able to identify that must be involved. Come on, let's agree on that. Isn't that true? Isn't there something that's always happening behind the scenes, whether you know it or not? There's always something moving, even when you don't know it or not. It's like the wind. You can't see it. You only see its effects. So as we get ready to execute, here's what we want you to do. We want you to put into practice these four things. One, with facts, look at what you have. What faith does is ask, what are you hoping for? What is it that you don't yet have, but you believe is attainable? Two, facts say, here's what we can see. Faith says it's unseen, but that doesn't mean it can't be realized. You guys know Hebrews, right? Hebrews says faith is a substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Third, facts help us with what we know, but faith allows us to believe beyond what we know. And trust me, there's always something that you don't know. A matter of fact, I think by now you've heard it. You don't know what you don't know. But what faith does is remind you that there is something beyond your knowledge and your understanding. And then lastly, and I think most important, when you get ready to execute this play to win, remember that facts might be based on what's good, but faith is always based on God. John Bevere actually wrote a book, and it's entitled Good Versus God. And at the end of the day, no matter how great it is, no matter how it feels, no matter how good it may appear, what you want more than good is God. And as we talk about faith and forward, I just want to remind you that you can hope for what you don't have. You can believe for what you don't know. You can realize what you have not yet seen because we serve a God who is more than good. This has been your coaching tip for today. This is a moment where you get to put into practice everything we've been sharing. So when you find yourself stuck asking a question, now what? You'll have an answer. And that answer is prioritize faith over facts. How long are you going to hold on to that message you have or wonder if you can be an author? Listen, we're here at Final Step Publisher to make your dreams come true. We want to maximize your message and then prepare your manuscript, publish your book, and then promote you and your message to transform lives and increase your revenue. Join us today at FinalStepPublisher.com so that we can take the idea that's inside of you and expose it so that others' lives will be changed and you will be blessed. It has been a great morning. Yes. Again, reminding you that you do not have to stay stuck where you are. You have both the opportunity, you have permission to go forward, and you have to do it with faith. Yes, and we hope that your faith has been built today. Yes. That's really been our aim and our goal, to help build those places in you of dreams that have been deferred. Right. That's been the goal for the whole season. Yes, <laughs> yes, right? those, those possibilities that yeah. they have been awakened to you, and that again, you realize that you don't have to do it and you should not do it in your own strength, but there is a greater strength, a greater ability that's working in you through our, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's right, and that's not based on your tax bracket. It's not based on your age. It's not based on how long you have or have not been saved. If you're listening today, if you hear this on any platform, if anybody says it to you, it is confirmation that if you can trust, if you can hold on to your belief, if you can have faith, you can indeed move forward. Now remember that this will not be a full episode of Now What? Unless we give you those follow through action items. And so today we want you to have some key takeaways right. of things that you can begin to implement to help you faith forward. That's good. So uh, the first thing you can do if you want to faith forward, remember when we talked about this whole idea of faith over facts is write down two things, two items, two areas of life you are believing God for yes. that you don't have now. now I'm going to be honest, this is going to be scary at first, mm -hmm. and it takes a lot of faith to actually write it down, because anybody can think about it. 
but to write it now starts to put it in motion. I think someone once said, it's not real until you say it, right? And so if that is true, what we're saying is your first follow-through action item is to write down two things you will believe God for. Yes, and your secondary action item or follow-through action is very similar because maybe you come up with two brand new things, but I believe there are many of you watching today who need to revisit that there were dreams that you had yeah. that you allow the fire to dwindle. You yourself talked yourself out of it or you <laughs> allowed someone else to talk you out of it. So I want you to revisit some of those things that you thought were unattainable, yeah. that you resolved in your mind, no one in my family has accomplished that or I've never seen it done so I can't do it. Not true today. We hope that through these dialogues and discussion, yeah. it's helped you to face forward. Absolutely. And if you do that, we believe that it'll help you maneuver beyond being stuck or being stagnant. Now, as we get ready to close out, we have some exciting news for you uh, because our crew and our team here at Now What have been working so hard. They're the best! The best team <laughs> ever. And what we would like to invite you to, particularly those who have partnered with us, and maybe you haven't partnered yet, but you like to give towards what we're doing to help impact the kingdom, here is what we would love to do. We've been talking about the synergy approach, right? Drum, drum roll. We've been talking about the synergy. We've been talking about working together. We've been talking about moving forward. And now we want to introduce you, or I'm sorry, invite you. To our season finale. To the season <laughs> finale that will be live. Yes. But you got to go to the website, nowwhatlive.com, and sign up because we really want to broadcast our last episode, episode 13, live with a studio audience. Uh, we're going to obviously have some like gifts. I mean, I don't know if we can go over and give out cars yet, but what we definitely want to do is make sure that you understand how thankful we are and how, yes. uh, how yes. much you being a part of this means right. to we us. We value you, right? We, we value you and your time joining us every morning, yeah. your sponsorships, your support, and really you synergizing your faith and hope with us in this whole journey has really been remarkable. So we thank you. Yep. So season finale will be live and hopefully you can come check out the website nowwhatlive.com, secure your ticket and meet us there. Can't we'll, wait to see you. Can't wait to see. You. We'll be back here next Tuesday at 7:30 a.m. But until then, check out the website so that you can stay connected. And remember, Whenever you find yourself stuck with too many facts or not necessarily knowing what to do, you now have the answer to that famous question, now, now what? what?